The Optica Industry Summit on Free Farm Optics got the best of the best in the room. Let's ask them what they thought of the first day of the meeting. Come with me. We had companies along the entire supply chain, from optic suppliers to even laser manufacturers. Jimmy Yo. Kafka from NKS, how do you think the event went today? I had a lovely time. I learned a bunch of new things. If you could, I think there was very high energy due in particular to the organizers. If you could decide on one takeaway from the event, one learning that you took. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I'm only worried about tomorrow's summary. So one of my takeaways was I, I, I like the conclusion that it's not about uh, the features, it's about the benefits. And I want to drive home that it's hard to get the voice of the customer. And I want to reinforce that tomorrow. So maybe that's not a takeaway, but it's a thing I want to enforce. Reinforce. Jim Kafka is running the ramp session tomorrow. Looking forward to that, Jim. I'm even going to tell everybody what a rump session is. One of the companies that, in my opinion, was a highlight today oh, came expensive. all the way from Scotland, Power oh, Photonic. Really? Roy, thank you very much for being with us today. I'm How do you think the Jose. meeting went today? It went really well, thank you. Yeah. If you could choose one takeaway, one takeaway to take with you, what would that be? There's a lot of new metrology out there I didn't know about, so I'm really glad I came. Yeah. What, brought, what brings Power Photonic, a company that develops Axicons, to a meeting with the brightest minds on free from optics. Well, you invited us, which helped. And uh, I figured this would be a great place to meet the people who know what's the state of the art in the industry. And, and there that's was exactly a, what's going on just now. And there were a lot of challenge on metrology, correct? There are, and I'm finding out how to solve them right Let, now. Let's solve them here. Another company that came today to the meeting is a company called Saigo. Xavier, how do you think the meeting went today? Uh, it went great. I think um, you guys put together a great panel of of you know industry experts and and customers, looking forward to what we learn tomorrow. And you could decide on one takeaway, one lesson learned from the session today. Well, unfortunately, as we heard in the last talk, it sounds like free firms are still looking for the the killer apps. I mean, there's a few niche where clearly it provides a benefit like space optics, but um, where else is going to go is still not clear. For me, what main takeaway was that. It, you make things that are as good as you can measure them. And the metrology was still one of the biggest challenges, correct? Absolutely, yes. Partly because there's such a wide range of shapes and, and optics are in fact quite limited in our ability to handle this. But uh, there were some suggestions like deflectometry, for example. I suspect that there's something to be done there. Um, more convenient solutions for the industry. But Thank you very much, Xavier, for being with us today. Thank you. Let's continue meeting companies. There were a long range of companies today in the room. One of the companies that was with us today is the company IDEX Technologies. How do you think the meeting went today? Yes. Well, I, th I think it went re really well. I think... Uh, if you could decide on one takeaway for you after the session today, what would that be? Continue learning. Uh, you know, for me, it's, I'm new to the industry, so it's really interesting to learn from everybody else that's been doing it for decades and decades. Uh, so it's, um, it's nice to experience it through their perspective, to learn and be caught up to speed pretty quickly um, than me just trying to learn it on my own. Thank you very much for being with us today. Let's continue meeting companies. Allow me, allow me to break in here. All the way from France, FASIX was in the room today. We wait from sensors. How do you think the meeting went today? It was great. Uh, you lot could of decide inputs. on one takeaway, one lesson learned to take with you. It's like, what would be the next step for Freeform? Where are they going to go? And I think it was clear that they are as good as you can measure them. There were lots of challenges on metrology, correct? Yes. Is one particular business opportunity you have spotted for your wavefront sensors? Still looking at this uh, comparison to the optical function, and I don't have the answer yet. Let's continue meeting companies. Thank you very much. Let's continue. And one of the key companies that was today with us is the host. The host ah. was Optimax. I'm here with the president of Optimax, Joe Spielman. Joe, how do you think the meeting went today? Today was fantastic. Yeah, we heard from a really diverse set of, oh, let's see, companies that work in the freeform space and all sorts of different applications from design to manufacturing to building systems and their applications. Uh, it was fantastic. A you could choose one, one learning point, one lesson learned, one takeaway. What would that be? Hmm. This is the freeform revolution. A lot of applications out there and there's a lot more coming. One, what would be the killer one? Oh, what do you okay. think? Oh, of course, Jose, okay. If I don't put you on the spot, then it's not me. <laughs> 
I learned more about what uh, the CIFO, uh, CIFO, Center for Freeform Optics, is doing at the University of Rochester, and their design tools are maturing rapidly and are becoming very useful for industry. I think that would be it. Yo, thank you very much for course, hosting Jose. the Industry Summit today. It was great to be at Optimax. I'm here great. with Chris Maloney from VPI Photonics. Chris, you are one of the one of my best friends in Rochester, New York. How did you think the meeting went today? Oh, I thought it was great. I actually came here really to learn a bit more about freeform optics and the industry and how our company, VPI Photonics, can you know, get over that threshold to you know, interact more with those working on optical systems and how do they integrate with datacom, telecom applications. And it seems that there's some, some opportunities here. One of the, my lessons learned today is that the Rochester ecosystem of companies works very well together. Is there a, something, a message that you will give to, re to the rest of the world as an example of how good Rochester is in optics and photonics? Yeah, it's a very strong optics and photonics community here. Um, you know, we're, we're vendors for one another, we're partners, we're competitors, but I think that actually builds up a, a strong ecosystem to bring, you know, bring this community together and you know, deliver something to the, to the world, really. Thank you very much, Chris, with that, for being with us today. Let's continue meeting a few more people. It was today the day in which we found cooperation, collaboration between different members of the ecosystem. It was also a day in which different companies were working on, on contract research. I'm here with Nicolas from Physics Sciences. How did you think the meeting went today? Oh, it was great. It's a lot, lot, too, too much to take in, but, but honestly, a great experience. You ask a lot of questions. You yes. come from physical sciences, a yes. contract manufacturer. Yes. What is your main takeaway from the meeting today? Um, my main takeaway is that there is a lot of um, different opinions that need to be unified together, and I'm, I'm happy with my position. And um, you know, I, I think that we're in a good place to, to help out in the space, and I'm excited to see where the industry is going. Thank you so much for being with us today, Nicolas. Yeah. Brian. Brian, you're coming from Synopsis, and you met today some of the brightest minds and all, some of the biggest success in the industry of freeform optics. Many people were asking about what's next to improve Code 5 to match more the needs of the industry. Is there anything, any lesson learned to go the next mile with optical design software? I have to be careful about what I say here. I don't the, have to. The, the big theme for us of for the last couple of years is interoperability, making sure all of our tools can work well together. It was great to have you today in the room. Let's continue meeting a few more people. Allow me to cut in here. I'm here in the middle of the show with three of the participants at the event today. Reinhard Volker, CEO of Focus Light Switzerland. How do you think the meeting went today? Oh, it was great. 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 This was how meetings should be. So you go out and say, oh, wow, I learned something. I met a lot of interesting people. You get out of your comfort zone. This is what a meeting should be. You could pick one lesson, one takeaway from the meeting today. Uh, that's difficult because I would say the web telescope and NASA talking about the, the telescope is so incredible. But there was also uh, Bill Casserly, which is my all time favorite. There was Eric Ruch. There were, there were so many talks. So this was so exciting. For me, the biggest lesson learned is we talk about the killer application for freeform optics. However, there are markets that have been using freeform optics for many, 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 many years. I found it 40 million years. <laughs> 540 million years. Your presentation was really the highlight of the day for me. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Reinhardt. And let's continue meeting a couple more people. I would like to go here and sit down to have a, a, beautiful, a beautiful salad with my friends. Oliver Panglev, CEO of Pandao. For a company like Pandao today, what is, in your opinion, the main takeaway, the main lesson learned after the session? The main, the main lesson is, what I really liked is that, you, uh, that all parts are covered, the application, the design, and also fabrication. And what's missing is the design of the fabrication, and that is, covered, that is more and more covered from both sides. From those who fabricate, they say, hey, we, we do it with these and these technologies. Yeah. And, uh, and also from uh, from ANSYS and from uh, and, for, and from uh, Synopsis Code Five, uh, they also have more and more th um, attention to producibility of optical designs. This I really like. For me, my lesson learned is like there are lots of different materials, lots of different manufacturing processes, and it's not clear how to decide what material, what manufacturing process for what application at what volume. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you can solve? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the, that's exactly a hot spot. Optical design is balancing uh, performance with layout, of course, but uh, they they are, they are at the same time demanding on optics fabrication, and they are demanding in three different uh, aspects. One is mandatory. Yes. Right? It has to be this material. It has to be that shape of accuracy. Second one is not mandatory. And there you can play a lot. And that is what TRL level, technology readiness level, should I have uh, in my fabrication? Because prototyping yes. requires different TRL level than mass production. And the, and the last one is this very delicate balancing between in a whole system there's not one single lens it's always a system like those beautiful telescopes we've seen with free form a spheres yeah. and there you can shift with a with, with a strail ratio for example you can shift the accuracy from one side of an element to another Better. side and this is a completely uh, unoccupied field that will come in the future Oliver Panlek, he's going to be the chair of the Advanced Manufacturing Alliance at Optica. More to hear about that later. Thank you very much, Oliver, for being with us today. We have had a fantastic day. There were companies with many different applications, many different technologies. One of the companies that shined today was the company Vanguard Automation. How do you think the meeting went today? It was great. It was, was great. Thank you for organizing it. It was like, like really great. Good impression and really good discussion. You brought two photon polymerization to the Freeform Optics Summit. What yeah. is your main takeaway? So in, in principle, um, I mean, I, I met like lots of new and old friends, but, but my takeaway is, is, is like, 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 I think we, we should go more into this market in the Freeform Optics, like, like it's a really also diffracted one. People were very excited about the way that you do the fiber to chip coupling. Exactly. So I, I was like, like quite quite surprised because uh, especially when, uh, on the OFC when we went, uh, everybody came to us and the technology w was known. And here they, they were really excited about the fiber to chip coupling. So I think we have to continue this discussion also with the people around here. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank Vanguard you. Automation recently acquired by MRSI Micronit. Thank you very much for being with us. Allow me to come to a company that comes all the way from Germany. The company is called Print Optics. Simon Till, how do you think the meeting went today? I was very impressed by by the. I mean, I was expecting a little bit management talk, like, um, but then I was very impressed by the technical quality of the of the meeting. Yeah. From all the presentations, all the discussions, what would you choose as the main takeaway? I think yeah, this kind of. What, Volk, uh, what what uh, Reinhard said in the end um, about this customer benefit. Yeah. Actually, I mean, it was the last statement, but it stuck and I, th I fully agree with him here. There was obviously a statement coming from University of Rochester in which combining freeform optics with metasurfaces or at least with nanostructures, yeah. that's where you come in, correct? Yes, that's a very interesting approach. It's this kind of hierarchical optics where you have a low frequency component and then you can add some metasurface, some fine structures on top of it. This is exactly where our technology is, is very well suited to, to actually make these kind of uh, structures. Thank you for bringing two photon polymerization manufacturing okay. services to Thank Optica you. today. Thank you very much. And that's all. It's been a great day, but only the first day. More to come tomorrow. Let me leave you with one takeaway, my takeaway. We all have to work together. And Optica is a platform for cooperation. And this is the result. The biggest networking opportunity in the photonics industry. See you and stay tuned to this LinkedIn channel and this YouTube channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.